Hello again, everyone. This is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness, and there's a couple of things I want to discuss in this video. First of all, I cannot believe it, but we are at over 900 subscribers strong on this YouTube channel. It's unbelievable. Over 35,000 YouTube views. I can't believe it, but in, in under half a year, I am expecting to get monetized and that's unbelievable. I never in my wildest dreams imagined uh, that I would be able to make an impact like that. I get so many people on all my social platforms telling me how much I've helped them out and uh, how they really enjoy the content I make, and it really means a lot. In regards to the upcoming channel content, uh, for those that are unaware, I am a teacher's assistant at the university where I attend. I'm also a graduate student, so my time uh, going forward will be limited, but that being said, I'm still expecting at least one video a week, one video every seven days, so a little less frequent than it has been uh, about one video every three days. It's going to be a little less frequent than that. Um, if for some reason I take a hiatus, I will probably announce it, but if not, don't, don't be worried. I'm in grad school, so I have a lot going on, and I'm also a teacher for the laboratory here. So I have, you know, tons of stuff I have to do. But I, I really love old school bodybuilding. I've been following it for years. That's not going to change. I'm never going to give up on this. Uh, this is really becoming a passion of mine. And I'm just so, so thankful for the individuals that have helped me out. Um, Golden Era Bookworm, to be specific, has really uh, extended an olive branch to me. He has spoken to me almost every day about you know the progression of my channel old school bodybuilding in general and he's just a wonderful guy and and I really can't believe it it's it's one of those things where you know you you get to speak with an idol I've I've idolized his methodologies for years literally years I was one of his early subscribers and I have stayed true with that and and I'll never uh, give up on his videos his content I watch them every day and if you haven't, I, I'm sure if you're following me, you have. But if you haven't subscribed to Golden Era Bookworm, uh, Carlos Golden Era Bookworm, go do that immediately. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you've been watching my videos, we're at 900 subscribers strong, just 100 left. I mean, I would expect I would get that by the end of the week. Um, not to toot my own horn, but if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do it. But that's enough with all that. Uh, just know going forward... The videos will probably be less frequent, but um, as far as when we hit a thousand subscribers, I will actually be doing a live stream Q&A. So I will be answering everybody's questions live on camera. You know, I won't be sourcing anything, but um, just ask away. You can also also ask uh, in regards to what I'm doing in school if you're interested in that. But I'm sure most of you are interested in, in the fitness aspect of, of what I'm doing. And of course, I'll be doing a live uh, workout, so it'll be a little interesting because my workout, my gym at my home is pretty small, so I'm going to have to figure something out with the camera, but we'll get through it, and I hope you all enjoy that. But today, uh, finally getting to the video today, uh, we will be discussing Vince Gironda's lying barbell tricep extension. Now, the thing about this exercise is I've made a video about skull crushers before. Uh, and tri quote unquote tricep extensions in my video about Bill Pearl's secrets to building large triceps, uh, his, his secrets to building big arms. But this is different, okay? This is a true tricep extension. I'll explain that in the next slide what that means, but this is not a skull crusher. They are two different things. They are very similar, but they are not the same. Um, in this video, of course, I will describe this wonderful exercise. I will demonstrate it for you, and of course, I will explain the demonstration. If any of you have any questions about this exercise or anything about the channel or any of my social accounts, or if you have a recommendation, uh, just uh, put them down in the comment section. I try to interact with everybody when I can, and I hope you all enjoy this video. All right, and what is the lying barbell tricep extension, and why would you ever want to perform it? As mentioned earlier, this is not a skull crusher, and here's why. In the barbell tricep extension, specifically this variation that Vince Gironda um, 
put to his students on, the barbell is ending up behind your head. There is no touching on the forehead, on the chin, or on the neck, or on the clavicles. This is going behind the head. This is a true extension of the triceps. It is not a skull crusher. You are getting full range of motion here, which Vince Gironda was really big about. Always get full range of motion. This distinction is very important. If you think this is a skull crusher, you won't be able to maximize your poundage. You can go really heavy on this exercise, really heavy, a lot heavier than you can on standard skull crushers. As mentioned uh, briefly, uh, this was used as a mass builder for the triceps. This exercise was used to increase the belly of the muscle through overloading. So you were using a lot of poundage here and really working the triceps hard and heavy. It was often, often implemented for those that had strong bicep peaks, but a very flat tricep sweep under the arm. Uh, so for example, a guy like Larry Scott benefited greatly from this ex exercise. Although he did uh, a little bit of a different variation and he used a smaller bench. He also really liked uh, close grip tricep presses. But he used this exercise as well, as, as all students of Vince Gironda did um, that had that weakness. You want to begin this exercise by lying on a supine or flat bench with your head hanging off a few inches at the end. You will then take an overhand grip on a barbell that has been placed on your chest. Uh, of course, if, um, if you haven't put it there, you could have one of your, uh, your spotter put it there, or you could have it on the knees and, and kick it up to the chest. But you'll have uh, an overhand grip on it, and you'll keep your hands about 12 inches apart. So I would say that is inside shoulder grip. I would hope it's inside shoulder grip for most people. You'll then press the barbell over your chest and assume the starting position. So that would be the picture on the left here. You will then lower the barbell by bending at the elbows until the barbell stops just behind your head and slightly below the bench. So as you can see, this is a full extension of the triceps and you are getting that barbell really behind the head. You wanna to try to keep your arms as tight to your upper body as possible. It's natural for your elbows to kick out a little bit judging by this uh, depiction here, you can see that Vince Gironda's elbows do kick out a little bit, but try to keep them in as tight as possible. It's going to be impossible to keep them uh, all the way tight in, especially if you're using heavy poundage, but do your best. Um, you will then curl the barbell back up to the starting position, and this completes a rep. And of course, complete the set as well. So do as many uh, reps as you need for the specific set. Do not lift your butt off the bench or hips off the bench. At any point, uh, there was a Larry Scott variation of a skull of a uh, tricep extension where he actually had his feet on the bench and he would press up. So he was almost in a shouldered bridge position and do a tricep extension, but that's not what you're doing here. You also want to make sure to complete the reps slowly. So uh, of course, you're not rushing this. You're not slamming the barbell back and, and, and using momentum to bring it back up. You're really testing the muscles. And that's pretty much it. It is a lot like a skull crusher, but uh, in short, the barbell ends up in a different position and it's not actually making any contact with your head, face, uh, or anything like, or chest at all. So it is not a skull crusher. It is a true tricep extension. Okay, in the next slide, I will show you a demonstration of this exercise and explain it. All right, and as promised, here is the lying barbell tricep extension. As you can see before the video started, I already had the barbell above my chest. Um, but as you can see, my hands are about 12 inches apart, so inside shoulder width. I am making sure to bring the barbell behind my head and slightly below the bench. You can't really see the bench in this video. That's uh, kind of my fault. I, I should have brought the camera down a little bit, but you can trust that uh, I'm definitely bringing it lower than it needs to be for sure. I also am making sure that I keep my hips and my shoulder blades on the bench at all time and I really don't have much if any arch at all. You can also see if you watch my abdominals when I'm going down I'm hitting what I call a pseudo vacuum. It's not a full vacuum but that just allows me to make sure that my shoulder, my shoulder blades and my butt are indeed on the bench and they're not lifting up. Um, I'm also making sure to keep the reps very slow and controlled. Uh, working both the concentric and eccentric portions of the movement. I am not rushing anything. 
Uh, this weight here is about 90 pounds. It's a 20 pound bar, uh, including the clips, uh, and the 10 pound weights and the 25 pound weights, so about 90 pounds. Uh, typically when I do this, I will go up to about 115 pounds for five, but I'm doing eight in this video. But um, I really work, when I do this exercise, I am trying to really overload the triceps. I'm not doing a light weight really slow. I'm doing um, heavy weight in a controlled, steady motion. And that's how I feel like I get the most out of this. I've always had pretty good triceps and um, skull crushers and tricep extensions, I definitely would say, are my bread and butter. I like cable stuff. I really do. I, I like cable uh, work for my arms, but tricep extensions I've always felt were superior they they just as long as you don't mind uh you know giving your elbows a break because sometimes you can definitely get some bursitis going on but um I just try to rest my my arms every so often but this is one of my favorite exercises I've been doing this one for years uh I didn't know it was one of Vince Duranda's exercises but I would always do what I called a three-phase skull crusher and I would go to the chin and then my next rep would be to the forehead and the last rep would be behind the head. And I would do a cycle of that. So I would do eight reps of every one of them or five reps of every one of them. And that was kind of how I would work the triceps and really just burn them up uh, in the quickest possible way. But yes, this exercise was one of Vince Gironda's favorites. Um, as far as I know, he didn't really push the standard skull crusher. He much preferred tricep extensions. He had a dumbbell variation as well that was in the uh, 10.8.6.15 root, uh, booklet, and it was also another one of his favorites. I definitely will be doing a video on that in the future. But this exercise is fantastic, one of the best. If you really want to build big arms, you've got to give this one a try. And I'm sure many of you are already doing it. But if not, definitely give it a try and uh, tell me how it works for you. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and thanks for sticking by me for... Uh, all these months. I really appreciate it. None of this would be possible without all of you. And it's been such a worthwhile experience meeting everybody uh, over the internet and discussing uh, my training philosophies with them and, and different books. It's been unbelievable. Oh, and if you do have a book you'd recommend, drop it in the comment section because I am a big reader. I've read over 60 bodybuilding books. I, I read every day. I mean, that's what I spend my, my time doing. So, if you have any books to recommend, definitely put them in the comment section, and if I haven't already got them, I'll definitely acquire them. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and stay tuned. Until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness, signing out. Bye-bye.